All right, I'm back with another vid. We got we got the the lane ganking 101 uh, vid, and, and you know when we see this video, when I just put up, uh, this is the this is the game and what happened at bot lane. Uh, when you get sometimes you get decent junglers, sometimes you get uh, crap junglers, and sometimes you get a bot lane that sometimes you can't do anything because uh certain situations bot lane. But you know, we farm, we farm. <clears throat> sometimes you get a uh, get a lane where you just pass it, farm, 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 and you get a. Uh, uh, you get one of these OP junglers by the name uh, Shadow Prince, 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 Prince. So he, he, fly, he, he uses the flash, you know. But he's gonna be doing a lot of lane ganking. Lane ganking is OP, man. It, the, 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 the main thing about lane ganking is bait. Are you able to bait? And Volibear is the best person because I'm always like at low HP. Uh, uh, I'm actually got to hide behind Cogma because, uh, you know, just 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 the way the lane went. Because uh, it's easier for me to die, and then Kogma won't burst out enough damage. So they, they try to go for me. So that's good for lane ganking. And and then we got we got, we got Skarner. He's over there. And whenever it blows up, and whenever Skarner doesn't have to get blue, whenever Skarner, and every time it blows up, he gets to keep it. He, he, he's OP. He's like one of the most OP junglers. Mike, he can just spam Q, auto slow you all day, speed up with his W, and GG. And he's got the ultimate ult at level 6. So he comes in, lane gank, slow it down a little bit. So first thing we do is exhaust rate, uh, ult him. Slap him right in the mouth, right, right hook, uppercut, uh, spit on him a few times. Uh, I, I, I didn't stop. I had to keep hitting him because I didn't want Clockman to die. As you see, he got ignited. I don't want him to get bursted. Next is uh, next is I uh, got cooldowns. Next is Blitz Cranko. Blitz Cranko gets a drop in the mouth. He got a little suit on. He ain't gonna be wearing a suit no more. I should have, I should have hit him right there just so that uh, Clockman didn't take turret, but it didn't matter. It worked out just fine. Diana's things come down, but doesn't come down. Uh, so we head back. Uh, th this is not it, man. When you when you keep lane ganking, you want to keep keep doing it because that when when bot lane dies, like, they're not gonna play like punks, man. We got choke out here. Oh, watch it, you mad? Where's your rupture? Rupture was like north of the fucking north pole. So, all right, so we so we back up, do do the back ends. All right, once again, uh, it's you see the time. It's at 10 minutes. So around 12, about 13 minutes, his blue will be back up. Scarner come. Oh, it's Scarner decides to come anyway. He flashes. Uh, Graves flashes. We all flash. We slow him, we right up, we got left up. I, won't, I don't have to, I stop hitting him. Because I know Kogma's not going to die. He takes a kill. Because you never want to chaos a Kogma, bottom line. Never want to chaos a Kogma. Why? Because he's a freaking hyper OP carry. Here is just a little dragon fight we get into. Uh, slap him, flip him. Uh, and then I bait. I actually, I pretty much baited uh, our Skarner. But Skarner, uh, I know Skarner, he's a friend of mine. And uh, it's all good because we, we make up for it. Uh, so we go back to the landing phase. Uh, come back, Kogma comes back down. As you can see, I'm not full HP, so you know it's a good opportunity for me to debate. And then once again, Skarner comes back. Da, 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 da. Oh, okay, it went too fast mode. I, I didn't know it was gonna happen that fast. So Kogma gets a double kill right there. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, rewind that. We got, we got, we got the, uh, we got volley bears. You know, sitting in the bush where it's warded. Uh, take a couple shots by minions. Calm down. Uh, okay, here's the here's the instant replay that we just watched. Slow mo. Uh, come in here, go for Graves, he's awesome, I'm low, so he's gonna hit me, so what I wanna do is I wanna run away, you never wanna just stay on there, if you're about to die, you always wanna back, cause you wanna stay, stay alive, but most people, just die, so I, I, and so we go back, so I'm just gonna wait, I have my flash up, I think, come back, uh, Skarner, look, like I said, man, he is OP, flip, Kogma gets a double kill, and once again, you know, when, when, once this happened, Kogma is sitting at 6 kills. When you got 6 kills, man, you're pretty much, you gotta do set a uh, wall for Kogma. He just spits on everybody. When you have a Kogma spitting at you, you're gonna be bleeding for hours. So I run back down the lane. Uh, I help, I help Skarner do some moves. Come back down the lane, do the lane gang again. Double lane gang, come in here. I get a little low. Come back, and then uh, Choke got to try to do the counter, counter lane gang. So he comes in, Skarner is a pause. you know Skarner, when he has, like I said, when he has blue buff, no one does damage to him, and his items is uh, Ninja Tappy, so AD is not going to do damage to him, Cho'Gath not going to sit there and auto him, so I go back, flip that, uh, let Kogma get the kill, and then boom, and then Skarner not going to KS, Kogma, so this, this is how you get lane gank, and swamped on, hope you learned a lesson, so if you low elo, this actually works real good, like you can do it instantly, just buy mobiles instead of Ninja Tappies, use move quins, go 0, 21, 9, get all the moves speed you want.